The Supreme Court agreed to hear the appeal of a case involving the indefinite detention of undocumented immigrants. Now, the previous ruling given by the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals indicated that uh, detention centers cannot indefinitely hold uh, undocumented immigrants and permanent legal residents without bond hearings. Now, uh, the case was appealed by the Trump administration went to the Supreme Court and here is the latest ruling. According to the Supreme Court, immigrants can be held by US immigration officials indefinitely without receiving bond hearings, even if they have permanent legal status or are seeking asylum. Again, this is what the Supreme Court ruled in a five to three ruling. Justice Elena Kagan recused herself from this case. Um, now, the court ruled that immigrants do not have the right to periodic bond hearings. So I wanna give you a further context into why this case even came about. It involved a man by the name of Alejandro Rodriguez, who was a permanent resident of the United States. Now, uh, he was convicted of possession of a controlled substance and joyriding. He was held in a detention center for three years without bond, without a bond hearing. Okay, so uh, that is an injustice, and unfortunately, the Supreme Court has further solidified that injustice. So, uh, first, let's talk about that case, and then let's talk about ramifications overall. Uh, he was not an undocumented immigrant; he was a legal resident here. If you, in the old days, if you had a green card, um, which is what you get before you become a citizen, but if you have you're perfectly legal here, you had almost every right that a citizen had except voting. Nowadays, they can do almost anything to you. And so they can just arrest you and never give you a hearing. Right. So this guy didn't get a hearing for three years. Supreme Court's like, that's awesome. On a very important charge like joyriding. And yeah. wow. Look, if you got convicted of that crime, there's no way you'd serve three years. A controlled substance and joyriding, that is not a three year sentence. But he didn't even get convicted. We have no idea if he's innocent or not because he never got a hearing. Now, it. They say three years, but this ruling says you don't ever have to give them a bond hearing. So you can Guantanamo Bay them, even though they're here legally. Right. You could just say, sad day for you, we're taking away habeas corpus. You, we never have to bring you in front of a judge. Now, in a previous story, we told you about how they're bringing back debtors prisons, and we outlawed that in this country in 1833. Habeas corpus goes back to the 1200s, so now we've gone back 800 years, mm -hmm. this is, they, the lords demanded this of the king back in, uh, in England, saying you can't just put someone away and never give them a hearing. Right. They wouldn't even let a king do it. We theoretically have a democracy and they're saying we never ever have to give you a hearing. So for, Unreal. for any member of the audience who thinks, meh, immigrants, who cares, right? And I know that that's a, probably non-existent portion of our audience, but just in case, I'd like to respond with this argument. First off, here is Justice Alito's reasoning for voting in favor of this indefinite detention. Alito writes, immigration officials are authorized to detain certain aliens in the course of immigration proceedings while they determine whether those aliens may be lawfully present in the country. Okay, so the argument here is, well, you know, they're investigating the situation, and so uh, detaining these people until they figure things out is totally fine. That, that's his argument. Um, why wouldn't that argument extend to everyday Americans, right? Like, we're supposed to have a right to a quick and speedy trial, which oftentimes we don't already. But Who's to say that under this type of logic, an American can be detained indefinitely until, hey, authorities kind of investigate the situation and figure out what's going on, no bond hearing. No, no bond hearing for you. But let's go one step further. He says, well, they gotta figure out what's going on and, and then they'll give you a hearing. But you said that there is no time limit on the hearing. So what if they never figure out what's going on? Well, shouldn't, if you're saying, Hey, we're not going to give you a hearing on why we put you in prison in the first place because we don't yet know what your legal status is. Can we then get a time of a period of time for them to determine what your legal status is? Nope. So then you just create a loophole that allows you to put almost anybody in prison. By the way, if you're a citizen, you could then demand a hearing 
but how do they know you're a citizen? Right, and, and so look, this is, this is the point that I wanna make, the broader point. They're tricking all of you guys, right? They're, they're tricking all of the right wingers, conservatives into buying into this ideology because they're pitting you against the others. But then the same things that they're using to dismantle the protections for the others will be used against you. Okay, the, they're dismantling everything, all the protections, whether it's the con, uh, Consumer Protection Financial Bureau or you know uh, habeas corpus or uh, you know whatever protections that we had when it came to our privacy, they, they'll dismantle that in the name of national security. They're dismantling all sorts of things that make America America, and they're just buying into it hook, line, and sinker because they have just bought into the notion that the others are worth being fearful of and we need to do something about them. This is crazy. So a couple more things, first of all, uh, the guys that brought the case weren't even asking for that much. They're saying, can we get a hearing uh, within six months? You could be sitting in prison perfectly innocent for six months. And they're like, nope, nope, you can't even get one every six months. <laughs> okay, number two, then people are gonna stop coming here. Because we're just- That's what they want. I, I, look, I, it is, and so let's just acknowledge it. If you're a right winger, don't tell me that you're against illegal immigration. Because these are against legal immigrants as well. And, and so let's say you came here on a student visa, you're a legal alien. You came here for a business trip, you came here and you have a green card and you could stay as long as you want if you have a green card, you're perfectly legal. Sorry, we just took away habeas corpus. You have no rights at all, we can detain you permanently and never give you a hearing. What kind of barbaric country does that? And we claim we're the shining city on a hill and we're the example of democracy to the rest of the world. And so conservatives, they never meant it, they hate, they don't believe in our system of government. They don't believe you should have due process. For them, rule of law doesn't mean pursuit of justice. And it's hard for progressives to wrap their mind around that because we keep thinking, isn't this justice system? Why won't you try to figure out if it's the right guy or the wrong guy, right? You'd need a hearing to figure out if it's the right guy or the wrong guy. Conservatives view the rule of law as not about justice, but about maintaining their power over you. You just watched the video by the Young Turks, home of the revolution. If you'd like to get a lot more than that, get the full show by becoming a member, tytnetwork.com slash join.